Back with the segment with uh, Doctor Lauren Boya. Yeah. They, they, you know, they're busting my chops. I can't pronounce her uh, last name properly. It is four it's only four, four letters. letters. Yeah, it's only four but letters. But it is the magical two syllables. So <laughs> I I just keep thinking, what was that song that he? Oh, Layla or Layla, Layla or she was a showgirl. Was yeah. that, what are you trying to say? I don't know. I'm not saying no. I'm not going there. CG's CG, out of the room. You start, C- CG's oh, going to start throwing uh, daggers at me. All right, hey, let's um, doc. I, I I'd love to hear from you as far as uh, as uh, as far as what advice would you give um, to someone looking to start their their own business after these past three years? And if you go back and you think about the last three years, and and you kind of hit on, I think a bit of it was from a marketing standpoint. Um, you 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 spoke about you know you wouldn't do that stuff again. But what are some of the learning curves? What what's some of the advice? Some of the mistakes you've made that you would you would reflect back and say to people, hey, avoid that. Um, you know, one of one of our biggest mistakes was you know when we initially did our business plan, we had every expense right on. Where we messed up was in projecting revenue, and we thought we had no we had zero. Patients. We started out from scratch. Yeah. And we thought to ourselves, you know, we figured out on average how much each person would spend. And we, you know, we had that down. We knew how much all of our supplies were going to cost. And we thought it would be like nothing to get five patients a day. It took us till now to get five patients a day. So we really underestimated what is our revenue is going to be and how easy is it going to be to get people to come in and try a new place and get in the door. So given that, One of the pieces of advice I have is that as you're starting out, especially if you're starting a business from scratch rather than taking over an an existing business, is to make sure you're well capitalized. Because we had no doubt we were going to, you know, reach profitability within the first year. Other people told us it would take three years. We said, oh, no, not us. We know what we're doing. We're the superstars. We know what we're doing. And I'm a doctor. They're going to come see me. You know, yeah, and and you kind of come from a different background in right. the sense that you know, in family practice, that's just they like come. you're yeah. you're you there eight ten advertise. hours you sick every day. <laughs> I mean, in a family practice, it's not crazy for you to see what twenty. I was I could see 30, twenty to thirty patients yeah, a day. Patients a day, so right. you're thinking, so five well, hell, if I only do twenty percent of what I'm doing now, I will be doing great. Yeah, right. and so you know, having enough, you know, having enough capital to be able to survive that time both to cover, you know, whatever expenses you need to live on as well as for your business to survive. You may have the best product in the world. You might be awesome at what you do, but if you can't survive financially yeah. to get to that point where your business is making money, it doesn't matter. What else jumps out when you think back to the last three years? Um, the second thing I think of is, again, just thinking, you know, if if we just ha- open this door, people are going to come. Um, if you know, we, we build ta- it, they will come? If we build it, they will come. Yeah. And, um, you know, and we did build it and it looked really nice and we have a beautiful office, but, you know, we spent a lot of time doing the wrong things and focusing on the wrong things, marketing and advertising, well, you know, to get people in the door. So, you know, putting more energy and time into the internet earlier, probably a, you know, a better customer referral system, you know, know, better because word of mouth is, is, I think that, I think, I think that's the tough part for and, and you know god knows we're not the oldest people out i mean you know we're 30 40 something year old folks and we don't view ourselves as out of touch but in reality you know we were joking off camera about facebook and right. twitter and all this other twitter. stuff twitter twitter, twitter. 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 you tweet on twitter Twi- tweet on twitter um <clears throat> see i i don't i wouldn't know how to tweet right. if if someone had a gun to my head you know what i mean right. and and so and we'll, I can't imagine someone who's 50 odd years old and that much more removed from it, you know, thinking about starting a business. So we, we were, we were saying, you know, we have bud, you know, he knows this stuff. He lit anybody who has like uh, Apple, anything, you know, is probably someone that is more technology savvy and, and viral marketing right. savvy. And you got to get that. We were talking, you got to have a person in your life that's doing that stuff for you. Right. Yeah. And you Anything mean, else that yeah. jumps out? I mean, the other thing is, is, I'm a doctor. 
Okay, that's what I do. I couldn't have done this if I didn't have someone who understood business. So I mm-hmm. think that's something that we got right because, you know, really when you own your own business, I would say you spend about 75% of the time on the administration of that business. Mm-hmm. If I had to do that, how would I have time to do what I love to do, which is be a doctor? Yeah, which you're passionate about. Right. Which, so, by the way, also pays the bills. Right. Yeah. So, you know, so I think that having, if you don't have, a business background, and if that's not your forte and you don't have someone in this business with you who's helping you, go find somebody fast. Yeah. Also, get the, the E-Myth. Good the E-Myth is that. a great E-Myth. book. So that's great the book. old yeah. all about pies. Great, just because you can make a pie. Sally's mean you can Pie sell Shop. Pie. Yeah. Sally's <laughs> Pie Shop. So, uh, that's a book she started that hating we, pies after a while. In, in a different yeah. <laughs> different world, we, we, we read that book so, a couple yeah. times. But um, All right. We're going to come back, and we're going to talk about your... Uh, recipe for success in the next segment. But um, check out Skim Beautiful Spa at skimbeautifulspa.com. Uh, they're they're right down in the right near the Southside Works, Southside uh, Pittsburgh. You're right on, on right on Carson Street. What between what roads? Between 25th and 26th on Carson. Stop in and uh, take a look at their services. Great stuff. We'll be back with the good doctor 